Welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In this tutorial, we will see how to create a SIL from the model that we have. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to create a plant model, how to create a controller model, and also how to manipulate different model properties in the MATLAB model. So in case you want to have a look into the same, please look into the previous videos that is present in this particular playlist. So let's get started with SIL building from the MATLAB model that we have. We need to right click on the model, particular subsystem. Then we need to go for C, C++ code, then go for S function generation. So this is how the S function will be generated from the model. S function is basically the C code implementation using a max file inside MATLAB environment. So when you click on the build, then a SIL will be generated. So this SIL represents the code uh, generated from the model that we have. Plus uh, it will be also running on the MATLAB environment. So we need to give the same inputs that we have given to this model. So let's copy everything as an input and paste it in the input ports of the SIL block. Okay. And we need to connect these properly. And also we need to connect the outputs with the proper ports this is how you can generate a sill and this sill you can test as a sill verification like this will be having a code inside and that will be running in the matlab environment so suppose you do not have the target hardware with you you can generate a sill model and you can verify the behavior so you need to connect these now what basically uh, will be present inside the seal we need to just click on the bottom arrow and uh, um, that that will enable us to see what is basically inside the seal model so this is basically a seal block and uh, suppose you go inside the model by clicking on that arrow then you will find a s function that is inside and this s function is being controlled or manipulated from outside this is a s function s function usually implements the c code inside matlab environment so this is how you can generate a cell and then you can simulate it also and you should expect the same behavior as the model that is giving in case you are liking our channel please consider subscribing in case you have any comment or any suggestion please say us in the comment box so that it will help us to improve your experience of learning MATLAB in this particular channel. Have a great day and happy learning MATLAB.